Hello everybody, this is a quick update on the status of the MSF Milestar System FPGA board. This is an all-in-one replacement for the Milestar GV series of boards. Uh, like my previous boards, it's four and a half inches square. All the standard TTL logic is replaced with an FPGA. There's an 8088 CPU, uh, some non-volatile RAM, a flash ROM for containing all the ROMs, and a microcontroller that handles the sound and also support for the USB stick. The game ROMs are loaded from USB into the system RAM, so the board will actually ship without any game ROMs. So let's set the camera up so you can see the screen. And let's power it up. That's better. Okay, so this is how the board will initially boot. Um, you have to go into setup and actually load some game ROMs. And I have a USB stick. Ta-da! Uh, this has um, most of the game ROMs on it. The naming and the directory names follow the current version of MAME, so it should make it easier to get a hold of and load the ROMs. So let's go into the loading menu and load a couple of games. So let's load Cubrit first. First thing it does is check to see that it can find the ROMs, uh, reads them, and then writes them to the internal flash. The flash will be soldered onto the board. I've got it socketed on this one just to make my life easier. Uh, let's load Mad Planets 2. And it's Mad Planets loaded, and also load Reactor because it's got pretty good music. And also, let's load, uh, uh, let's load screw loose. Now, screw loose is horizontal, so we'll show you something with the horizontal as well. So, uh, as you can see, it shows which games have been loaded. It says loaded or empty. Uh, like the other menus, you can turn on or off particular games if you don't want to appear on the menu. So, anything that's loaded, you can turn on and off. If it's not loaded, obviously, you can't turn it on. So let's have a quick go into game options, show a quick few settings here. Um, the angle joystick for Qubit, this is where if you want to simulate having an angle joystick, turning this on means that you have, if you have an eight way, it means you have to push the joystick to up left, uh, up right to simulate Qubit having that angled stick. So you need to make the, move the joystick into an angle to make it, uh, make them actually jump. Depending on what kind of joystick you have, it's either it works really well or it's really pretty crappy. Uh, I don't like it, but some people want it, so I put it in. Um, spinner, you've got the option with the spinner of either using a real spinner, um, the trackball, horizontal, uh, the player two joystick, if you have a two-player joystick setup, or actual buttons. And, you know, it actually works pretty well in all of those options if you don't have a spinner. Uh, buttons is buttons is pretty good. Trackball, um, you can either use a real trackball um, or a joystick. I have a trackball plugged in at the moment. And if you see here, there's actually a connector, a four-pin connector that's designed for plugging a trackball. So let's go and put the camera back again. Um, fire controls, uh, buttons or joysticks. Uh, I'm going to put it to buttons because my control panel I'm testing with actually just has um, is a a joystick connected to the buttons. So this is for uh, Krull and screw loose, which required a second joystick for directional shooting. So um, if by default the joystick will be the player two joystick. Uh, so I'm keeping on buttons. We have the knocker sound effect. This is to simulate a knocker for Qbert. Um, flip screen. So if you have your monitors oriented the other way up, you can actually flip the screen. Um, Rotate screen. Now, this can, can be a useful feature. Rotate screen actually rotates the screen. So, if you're familiar with the Master hardware, the screen is actually square. So, you can actually, during the video fetch, you can flip the H and the Y coordinates, or the X and the Y coordinates, and basically have the screen rotated by 90 degrees. Um, that's, uh, that lets you play the horizontal games or vertical games on horizontal monitor. It actually works really pretty well, has no impact on the games, and doesn't affect any of the gameplay. It's just a uh, um, feature of the video fetch. Anyway, um, VJ scan lines, um, they look really odd on a vertical games, but some people like them, so I'll leave them on there. Mad Planets Fast Boot. Uh, Mad Planets, by default, uh, does a ROM test and then a long... Um, 10-15 second countdown saying do you want to clear the high scores 
uh, it's really kind of dull, um, so you can actually turn that off and have it boot into the game faster. And finally, Reactor high score save, so you can actually make Reactor um, save its scores as Reactor by default, doesn't save high scores. So that adds a little bit of patch um, patching to the code, just when the system starts off, don't clear the uh, non-volatile memory where it stores the scores. Uh, so, uh, dip switches, each game has, you can set the dip switches to your favorite settings, whether it's a cabinet upright, turn off the um, track sound or kicker sound, every game has its own set of dip switches. So, nothing exciting, too exciting there. Switch test, and as I spin the trackball, you can see the trackball counter, spinner's not connected so it doesn't do anything. Spinner uses um, what the two spare pins on the jammer connector, that would be buttons 5. Uh, player 1 button 5 and player 2 button 5, they connect to the spinner's dat and clock. So if you have a spinner you can wire, wire that up. Um, game enable menu, again you can turn games on and off. Um, load game ROMs, showed that already. Actually let's load, um, let's load cubes as well. Cubits cubes is pretty fun. So it's scan, clear, make sure the flash is clear, and then loads the ROMs. So finally, let's go, oh, system update. Um, this, if I do updates to the menu or the FPGA firmware or the uh, boot controller, the, I can, um, you can basically update these from this menu and load the new, load the updates. So let's go into the menu. And let's try Qbert first. And let's lure Coily to his death. And as you can see, speech is supported. So now let's leap off the side. Okay, and back to the menu. Uh, one player and two player start. Get, takes you back to the menu. Let's try Mad Planets because this has pretty cool music. Okay, and as we see here, this has got the slow. I turned the fast boot on, so it's got the slow boot. So it does its ROM test and then it does the clear scores. So we're going to clear the scores. And I'm using buttons here. And buttons work, works pretty well actually. Makes it a little bit like asteroids. This is a fun and underrated game. And crashing the planet. And that's that. And let's get back to the menu. Okay, now um, Screw Loose is a horizontal game, but we can fix that by going into the game options, turning on the rotate screen, and now when it loads, except I've got it the other way up, Screw Loose is now a vertical game. But we can get around that too by going in and saying, let's flip the screen. So now we have a rotated and flipped screen. So now we can get screw loose vertically. And there's a nice white bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, that's enough screw loose. And, you know, seeing as we're looking at putting uh, horizontal games vertically, Reactor. And Reactor with its crazy bass line. And I think I turned on the trackball, so... Oh yeah, I did. And I'm really, really, really bad at Reactor. Oh. I can crash into the walls pretty well, but that's about it. Oh, and as you heard there, the speech is supported. It, it, 
Oh, and it gives you the countdown of how many of the... And I'm dead. Yeah, that, that about sums up about how good I am at Reactor. So that's... Let's go in and turn the rotate off. And the flip screen. Uh, so we're back to a completely standard screen orientation. So uh, let's go and look at cubes as well. Because cubes is pretty good. And I'll just I'll just complete one level quick to show what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cubes, and that about finishes everything up. So, oh, you know, one thing I didn't show was, you know, let's let's rotate the screen, not, rot not flip, rotate, and show, uh, yeah, let's go show Cubert running on a horizontal display. Let's turn this around. So once again, the screen um, on these boards is actually square, which means that it's pretty uh, straightforward to actually rotate this in hardware. And, and Kylie's got him. Okay, so that about sums it up. Um, where are we with the board? Let's show the board again there. Hopefully that is still in focus. Yeah, we're about uh, two or three weeks away from actual production quality boards. Uh, this one is, this is actually a production board, but it doesn't have a, a silk screen or solder mask on there. So that's, um, some of those will be appearing shortly. Um, the other thing is this will support the knocker for Qubit and uh, faster, harder, more challenging Cuba. I will be doing a, an update with the showing the knocker as well. I have an original um, original knocker from a cabinet, and I'll set that up so you can see it actually doing the thud when Cubit uh, when Cubit falls off the uh, falls off the pyramid. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look out for updates. Cheers.